Good morning, Year 5 and 6. I hope you're all well and are ready to embrace another week of home learning. Today and for the rest of this week, you'll be using the information that you have gathered to create your own information booklets to answer the following question. Can I design and produce an information booklet explaining how organisms in my local area can be grouped? Today, we'll be designing the front cover to our booklets and explaining to our readers what classification means, who Carl Linnaeus was, and explaining how living things are classified using the Linnaean system. Just a reminder of our objective and outcomes for this current learning journey. As I've mentioned already, by the end of the week, you will have designed and produced an information booklet of your own explaining how organisms in your local area can be grouped. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to model each page as if I were creating an information booklet. However, if you'd prefer to use a computer to make a PowerPoint or slideshow, that would also be fine. First of all, your information booklet needs to have a front cover. The front cover is the heart of any booklet and should grab your reader's attention. First of all, you should include a heading or a title to provide the reader with a clear message to what your booklet is all about. Headings and titles should also be used throughout your booklet to direct the reader throughout each of the different sections. Next, in a few more words, you should explain in a little more detail what information your booklet hopes to provide the reader with. Here I've included, at the bottom of my page, an information booklet explaining how living things can be classified into groups according to their characteristic similarities and differences. After this, you'll need to think carefully about what images to include. Try to include bright, appealing images that make your cover stand out, but also make sure that they link to the theme of your booklet, in this case, classification. Try to be clever here in how you fill the white or empty spaces on your page. Be careful though, sometimes overloading your page with too much information and images isn't helpful for the reader. Next, your opening page inside of your booklet should explain what classification is. I have started answering this question here. You could go into more detail here by explaining what taxonomists are and what they do. Your opening page should also include information about Carl Linnaeus. I've included some questions you could answer to help you with this. Did you notice how I included a subheading here? This, like headings, helps direct the reader through each section of your booklet, so be sure to include these in your information booklets. So far, you should have your front cover and your opening page explaining what classification is and who Carl Linnaeus was. The next page in your booklet should explain how the Linnaean system helps us classify animals within groups. Remember that you can use your notes to help you write this up when answering these questions. Finally, you could draw the Linnaean system in your booklets to further support the information you've included. And breathe. That's about it for your first session. Remember, this does not all need to be done in one go and to take breaks between completing each section if you need to. I'm really looking forward to seeing the start that you've made to your booklets or PowerPoints if you've chosen to go down this route. Don't forget to take pictures of your work and upload it to Class Dojo so that your teacher can provide you with some feedback. Well done, Year 5 and 6. Bye for now.